So as we're seeing those Omicron cases begin to ease and we're inching towards normalcy, including some mask mandates being dropped, what is the outlook for travel when it comes to your hotels, at least here in the U.S.? You know, it's, it's got a little ways to go for sure, but uh, uh, it's exciting. Uh, you know, we saw some really dynamic uh, movement back in October and November and beginning of December until uh, Omicron started to come in. So I think we're going to pick right back up from there. You know, this is a slower time of year for the New York market anyway. Uh, as we start to come out of February and into March, weather gets nicer. Uh, if we're really starting to move forward, hopefully this time for good, uh, becomes an endemic. We learn how to live with it. Uh, I think uh, in the next few months, we could see a tremendous demand coming back. So obviously international travel is something that's beginning to rebound, um, at least it was before Omicron. Do you see that fully recovering sometime in 2022? And obviously those people, they come from a different country. They're looking to have a good time and maybe spend a little bit more money. So fully recovered, yeah, I would say on the leisure side, uh, yes, that'll bounce back. It'll bounce back quickly and it'll only take... Uh, you know, the people plan their trips much shorter than they used to in the past, so that'll come back. The, the corporate travel and the international corporate travel, uh, that's not going to bounce back as quickly. Uh, we still haven't seen that yet move to uh, reasonable levels, uh, even domestically, uh, even back in October and November. So, uh, but I think it's all tied, again, to the, to the pandemic. Uh, companies right. weren't letting their people travel. Um, once that starts to uh, become a little more reasonable and they're not as fearful and not fearful of lawsuits, uh, companies will allow their people to get back on the road and things will get back to, uh, to normal the way they used to be. So, Jay, we're looking at some images of some of your very beautiful properties, obviously uh, very unique boutique hotels is what your group offers. How does inflation impact your business um, and especially some of the moves with the dollar? How do you balance that and, and does it impact domestic travel more or international travel more? Yeah, uh, right now, obviously, uh, we're, we're getting mainly just domestic travel, so it's impacting them. Um, you know, inflation, uh, it, it's not as significant for us. Uh, you know, our, our demand, to, we're, we're flexible to be able to change rates, right, as opposed to other classes of real estate. Um, once that demand starts to move back, people understand you're paying $19 for that hamburger that you used to pay $14 <laughs> only a year and a half ago. Uh, so for the room rates to come up from 275 to three and a quarter, uh, I think it'll be absorbed pretty quickly. So once we start getting that, that demand back in, I think we'll be able to make up for the, uh, the changes in inflation for us.